Hi, I'm Dave from Notable. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get up and running on the Notable plugin within ChatGPT. All right, so when you first log into ChatGPT, you'll see your models, the default GPT 3.5. Just switch it to plugins, and then within the plugins section, search for the Notable plugins. You can see I have zero plugins enabled. I'm going to go to the plugin store. I'm going to find my Notable plugin and click install. And then it's going to redirect you to sign up for a Notable account if you don't have one or sign in if you do have one. And so I do, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign into my account. Now that I'm signed in, I get back to ChatGPT. Now that plugin is enabled, and I'll just go ahead and say, create my first notebook that prints out Hello World. It's going to go ahead and create that notebook for me. When it's finished, it's going to send me a link to that notebook. I can go ahead and open and view it with a Notable. So let's watch. So it's running right now. Whenever you see these things here, um, these little kind of green things with the little spinner there, it's actually working. Uh, sending requests to Notable and getting responses back. They turn gray uh, when they have the responses back. And so we'll wait. It goes through a couple different iterations here. At first, it creates the notebook, and then it starts adding content to the notebook, and then we'll execute uh, the cells within that notebook. So we'll wait until that finishes uh, before we get the response back that says, here's the link to view the notebook. Here we go. I've created my first notebook, said my first notebook to IPYNB, added that code cell, it's been executed successfully, and the outputs as expected. Here I can view that notebook. I'll wait for that markdown to finish rendering so I can actually click the link. There it is. Now I click, I can open my notebook with a notable. And again, uh, go back to chat GPT here. You can see it, it gave you the output. Uh, of that uh, of that execution. I can go and type in anything I want here to continue uh, work in that notebook, or as again, I click the link in the in Notable, and now I view that notebook and I have a working notebook session with a Notable. Hope that helps.